So what are the odds that this works on the first try? Hi there. Hello, the internet. Glad you could make it. Now, whether or not the game works, well, I streamed it to my, just uh, to myself earlier, and that seemed to work. What I'm worried about is the oh, Jank is strong with Twitch. That is, that is. I actually don't know if that's true. I find that to be very plausible. I've got four. Oh, I notice I have my frame rate counter in the corner, and you can see it. Sorry. Well, there's information for you in case you care. Uh, yeah. So 40 frames a second, not as not as smooth as when I'm not streaming, but that's that's good. That should be playable. Um. So how are the audio levels? Can you hear the game? Can you hear me? Is one too loud relative to the other? I am. I'm wearing uh, an Atari Adventure shirt. Krellen. Hi, Krellen. Don't really hear the game. I guess the game's not making a bunch of noise right now because we're not... You know what we need to do is, um, here we go. How is that, uh, in terms of loudness? Game is pretty quiet. Can't hear the gun almost at all. All right, let's fix. I can turn up how loud I stream the game, but let's see if that fixes it. Better? All right. So I'm here at this apartment building and the most important thing about this apartment building is that this apartment building is not important at all. This is not used at any point. Nobody ever comes here at no I've done all the quests in the game, I believe. Um done the main story missions, side missions. At no point do you come to this building. And here it is. You know, this spot is made. Like, in your typical video game, you know, where they just treat every square inch of the level as precious. Um, it all has to be used. Somebody made this space and, damn it, you've got to walk through it. And look at this. I mean, this isn't a complicated area, but somebody built this. Somebody put this grill here and this table and these chairs and I, I realize this is a really stupid thing to to like observe about this game but then when you look out over the city and you realize that most of the city is this places that don't matter that are exquisitely detailed and were given time and attention and it's sort of I'm always in awe of just how much to this game it is and how much love went into it and how much like Money. Sorry. Oh, uh, I guess, heads up, uh, this is a very violent game, and I'm not shy about playing it in a violent way. So, um, if you're not okay seeing a lot of people die, then maybe this isn't the stream to watch. A one star wanted level for running over three people. I've got to say, this town is very relaxed. 
in terms of in terms of uh, law enforcement. I know where I live. If I ran over three people, I think the police would make a little more effort. Oh, they gave up already. Yeah, they would spend more than a minute and a half looking for me. I rushed through the campaign as quickly as possible in order to be able to just walk in it. Yeah. Hey, Peter. Yeah, so... Let, let's let's pull over here a second. Like, if you, if you just think about the detail in this game, we've got that sidewalk surface, this pavement surface here, and then this driveway. If they... And then the road surface. If they had cheaped out... Ew. Loser Bill. Why hasn't someone sensible shot you yet? Uh, whatever. Right. Okay. If they had just cheaped out and made this the same as this, would anybody have complained or cared or even noticed? Um, I, a lot of this, I wonder if they were working from reference photographs just because of the detail. Like here, these, are these electrical meters? No, they're sprinkler and standpipe inlet. I don't even know what that is. I don't live in a big city. I don't see stuff like that. Um, yeah, if they had left that off, would that have like broken your sense of immersion? <sighs> My my frame rate is smooth on my end, but the the stream is supposed to be at 30 frames a second. So are you folks really only getting 15 frames a second? Like I've got right now, the game is running at 50 frames a second. Uh, let's let's live dangerously. Sixteen hundred by ten twenty. There we go. All right. So if I bump the game down to sixteen hundred by ten twenty four, does that help for you folks? Because I don't want you to watch a fifteen uh, frames per second stream. That's terrible. That actually makes me sick to to, especially in a game where you do a lot of driving and you're. You've got a lot of lateral camera movement, like I'm doing right now, just to be a jerk. Um, when when that gets like down to 15 frames a second, that's really sickening. Anything below 120 hurts me now, so I don't know. Much better? Yeah? Yeah? All right. All right. We will just stream at 1600. I will just suffer the loss of those few extra pixels. Literally, I can't tell. This looks identical to what I was just looking at. My old eyes are not up to perceiving the difference, the difference between uh, 900p and um, 1080p. No, it's the same? Rear bumper is loose. You know, the uh, the rear of this car popped open earlier when I was wrecking into things like an idiot. Um, and this hatch popped open. There is no point in the game where this hatch needs to be open. There's not a quest that has somebody using this car and opening the hatch. If they had not made the hatch animated, nobody would have noticed or cared. But not only can it pop open, but you can close it again. 
for absolutely no reason. The, di the idea of all this detail work drives me t crazy, too. It feels decadent. This is like driving on streets made of gold. This game is just so dense with just... And just think about how, how would we make this? You and your 200 closest friends get together and you decide, all right, we're going to make a game. Um, one guy opens up the city in the level editor and what does everybody else do? So while you're working on the game, you need some way that you can all work in the same area. Some sort of streaming collaborative server where I can make be making changes to one area of the city. And oh, I can't believe that parked car jumped out in front of me. Um, where I can make changes to one area of the city and you can make changes to another. Another game, you want a game without... Peter, uh, I feel the same way. The worst part of this game is the main part of this game. I just... I don't like the characters. I don't care about their stories. It, they're just jerks, and they're... They don't even have much of a care. They have long, meandering stories that you don't care about. At the end, they don't really have transformative character arcs. I mean, they're different at the end in, in that, you know, oh, these two people stop being mad at each other or whatever. But they don't have, like, real arcs that I would expect from a movie of, you know, like, a long movie. You just, you expect more from this much story. But it's just this long, meandering thing, and there's so much of it. But it's all built atop this absolutely insane... Uh, world. And they're not even the fun jerks, right? Um, Michael is okay, but then his family is so grating. Franklin is great, but Lamar is super grating. And then Trevor is heinous. Although, when I go on rampages, um, I do it as Trevor. It wasn't me. Uh, did they improve commute? <laughs> did they improve the game communicating with the player in terms of what they should be doing? Yeah, a lot better. Big improvement. Uh, really, I think the big improvement here is the game is just a little. It's just easier. You know what? That's all it is. It's easier than GTA 4, and they give you checkpoints. So if you fail, you don't have to go back to the start of the mission and skip the cutscene and drive back to the mission and start over. You can just, you know, go back to the last checkpoint. I don't know why it took them 13 games to do that. Here's another place that I don't think gets used at all. Look at this. This is such an interesting building. I wonder if it's based on a real place. Now the police are done chasing me already. The shooting is ass, though. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot of... You can't solve problems your own way. The, the game cannot... Like I've said before, you're a stuntman who's not allowed to read the script. You can't just, oh, I'll be clever and I'll bring a rocket launcher to this mission. Or, haha, I brought a souped up car so I don't have to dr chase this guy down in a jalopy that the game gives me. But no, you're going to drive that jalopy. And that's just what's going to happen in this chase. And you're going to do exactly what the writer wrote. Because he has in his head what he wants to happen in this mission. So, yeah, it's it's better than GTA 4 because of the checkpoints, but it's still not great. What? 
Wow. Oh, armored car. Pardon me, stream. I have to... Well, that didn't work out. If it was based on a sob, I'll bet it was called a slob 900 because that's the that's the kind of creativity this game has. Which is which is satire. Oh, come on. Lucky miss. Stream is like stream is still lagging. Hmm. Oh, I can't follow chat and read and watch the map and drive at the same time. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore chat for a few seconds while I get rid of these guys because apparently, because apparently shooting up an armored van is illegal in this city. Fascists. It aims to be, yeah, with regard to the humor, it aims for, it thinks it's, it doesn't aim for South Park. It thinks it got there. This game thinks it is cutting satire, and it is just crude. It's, it's a couple of 12-year-olds calling each other homo. It's just so childish. But it, th and childish is fine. Saints Row can be pretty childish. But Ch Saints Row doesn't ever take on, doesn't ever get so pretentious and think that it's making important messages and doing biting social commentary. It's there to have fun, and it does that. And this thinks it's doing social commentary, and it's it's really not. Uh, I, to be honest, Krellen, I've only seen South Park once, and then I've seen a few clips on you. Okay, the one uh, South Park I've seen is the one about Canadians. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. That's my only experience with South Park. So, I shouldn't, like, use South Park as a universal example, because I, I really don't know that much about it. Scoldworm, I, I kind of agree that Trevor is sort of represents the, the player ego character. Just this absolutely insane, like when you decide to just go completely off the rails, you're like, I'm done interacting with the story content and I just want to be a jerk for no reason. You know, just do something completely abom abominable without being provoked at all. Like I can't think of an example right now, but something like that. Like, Trevor, is, when I'm going to behave that way, I switch to playing as Trevor. Oh! Aww. That wasn't me. 
Trevor is hilariously broken. Trevor is just his... Okay, here's the thing. Each of the characters has their own special ability. Franklin has this ability that lets him drive a car super well. That's useful maybe twice in the entire game. Michael has the ability to go into bullet time so you can line up headshots and kill people really fast. Trevor's special ability does that. It slows down time, and you deal more damage, and you basically stop taking damage. And it just makes him... It's like turning on God Mode for for like 30 seconds. It is so ridiculously broken and it's constantly useful. Yeah. Just yes to everything everybody just said about South Park and about Trevor and Franklin. Um so all the all everybody's abilities are like um very very situational except for Trevor who is just so broken. Speaking of broken, this is the most if you want to get the achievement for like a lo I forget what the achievement is, like maintain a 5 star wanted level for you know 10 or 15 minutes. Um, this is, this is where you go. So this spot in the game... The police can only come in through the door. Um, you've got a soda machine there to heal yourself up if you get in trouble. Um, and they, they come in slowly enough that you can just hold them off forever. I mean, it gets boring after a while, but if you just want that achievement, you can do this. And boop. Uh, to hold this spot, you do have to learn to line up shots without, like, if you poke your head around the corner like this, uh, you'll get hit. Sooner or later, one of the SWAT team guys will come in and 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 just one shot you, just a shot to the head, and it's all over for you. So you do need to learn blind fire, but, you know, spend a couple minutes working on it, and you got it. How many kilos of metal are you lugging around? Yeah, the ammo cut. I, to be fair, those bullets I have, which is now 4,351, is from doing this. When I'm writing about the game, I probably shouldn't admit this on stream, but when I'm, like, writing about Grand Theft Auto, sometimes I play through a story mission, and then I need to to reflect on it. I kind of need to absorb it. If I jump right into the next mission, then they all kind of blur together. So I, I like to take a bit of a break and reflect. And this is what I do when I'm, you know, reflecting. is just sort of something mindless and goofy. I mean, I do this rather than alt-tabbing and going and playing Minecraft. The other great thing about this spot is, of course, that if you're using the shotgun, earlier in the game you'll have this shotgun, the pump shotgun. Um, it's, it works the same, you just can't, it's, it's not quite as easy because you can't just shoot it so fast. But they bring you shotgun shells, so you've, get, you've got free ammo, and so every time I'm like, oh, getting a little low, come out here, pick up a few hundred rounds from the guys I've killed, and then go back and hide. We have a it's in. Yes, the sign over his head, firearm safety service. How many people I've killed under this um, sign that says firearm safety certificates?
Now, with the other characters, I wouldn't be able to get out of this. You walk outside, and you're just going to walk into a storm of bullets, and you absolutely will die. But with Trevor here, you can turn on that invincibility and and then run for a car, and then you have a fighting chance. It's still a bit of a trick to get out to get out of it with this high of wanted level, but uh, it can be done. With the other characters, I it, I would be interested to see if somebody could get out of this situation as either Michael or Franklin. I imagine it's impossible or the chances against it are astronomical but I you know I've tried but I've I've never even gotten close I've never even reached a car that you just get gunned down so quickly <laughs> I have 200 kilograms of shotgun shells. Well, you got to understand, um, these are really deep pockets. They're, these are good pockets. These aren't just regular pockets. They kind of go all the way down to the knee. You can you can watch him. Whoop! Took it out of his pocket. See? Oh yeah, the other guns. Let's see how much I've got of this. And then this. Oh no! I have done a mistake. I've set the place on fire. Yeah. Yeah, this place is going to burn. The problem with that is the fire comes this way. Oh, it's going to go out. Oh, it's my lucky day. I've thrown grenades out there and sticky bombs, and they set the carpet on fire. And it burns through the room, and then, and then it gets you. I, I actually wanted to use these fire extinguishers. I was like, can I use them? And I shot one of the fire extinguishers, hoping that it would have the emergent property of putting out the fire before it reached me. Spoiler, no. No, the game doesn't have all this stuff. That would be incredible. Whoa, no. Somebody come out and play with me. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I think I think I've exhausted the humor uh, the humor potential here. You know what? Let's uh let's top off with the with the refreshing sprunk and then we'll head for the door and see if we can uh if we can live through this. You crazy what? You you got cut off there. All right, let's run for it. Look at that. I I I have more ammo now than when I than when I arrived. I could be using my better shotgun. Now, how long will my tires last? Okay, now we turn right here at this photo, mu photo hut or whatever that thing is. Chicken place. Tiny chicken place. 
All right, get on the track. So this is another broken exploit I've found. I spent a lot of time looking for exploits in this game, and this is another one I found. Is the game the the police forces are completely unable to properly pursue you in um, in the subway? To oh, did you see that? There was a just ahead of me. The the I've never seen that happen. The area ahead of me hadn't loaded in, and there was just gray fog nothingness ahead you can see through to the skybox i've never seen that happen before in this game i assume it's because i'm streaming and it's putting an extra load on uh on my machine yeah the police don't know what to make of this although to be fair i don't think that anybody knows what to make of this Yeah, the highest wanted level is just more police. It's not like earlier games where they call in tanks. No military, just those just those SWAT guys, which it calls noose. Can you drive upside down? Uh, you can go really high up on that wall. Can you just wait down a five-star level? Yeah, in fact, we're almost done. I think the black cars, the one I'm driving now, is the FBI equivalent from previous games. Yep. Yep, they quit. I mean, you know, I only killed a hundred or so guys. Alright. My bullet-ridden SWAT van. Leave it there. And get myself a refreshing E. Cola. That is so dis. Yeah, I feel like the game should push back harder. Uh, I wouldn't mind these exploits if the game pushed back harder, but the the police presence in this game does seem very tame compared to previous ones. Which yeah, I mean it's still hard to get away without using those exploits. It's very hard to really escape the police especially because of the choppers you you have to get undercover the chopper will just hound you and you know give away your location constantly yes i illegally parked i'm surprised i didn't earn a one lid level for that uh that car is absolutely not safe there that car is going to get smashed by the metro eventually um, you know, and of course, probably despawned by now. Mind if I test drive your Audi? So on top of all the other insane stuff this get this game does. On top of everything else, you know, like a normal first person shooter, maps are fixed time of day, fixed time of night. But on top of just this gargantuan environment, this absolutely breathtakingly detailed city, it's got dynamic day night cycle with full shadows and signs that light up and so many unique businesses. This is something that, th that this game in particular does really well. Like, you drive around Saints Row. Now, I think Saints Row is more fun than this. But you drive around Saints Row, and you'll see the same five businesses again and again. But this game... Like, I I don't know of another Chihuahua Hot Dogs in the game. Or Bite, It's Big. Or Bean Machine. Actually, I think I have seen another Bean Machine. But there are just so many of these things. All of them have unique signage... Logos. I mean, how long does it take to to create a company logo and then model it in three days? Who was who's who had that job? Yeah, we need you to model about a hundred and fifty little fake businesses. We need you to make up names for them, company logos, signage, color motifs, building design. You notice Wigwam here isn't just a square building. It's got this stylized arrow. Bison burger, wigwam. What is it? it's a food joint? 
and the inside is fake. Oh, literally unplayable. Cheap ass game. Yeah, some of them do seem to be individual or used sparingly so that you see them where they make sense. It's not like there's a a burger shot on every single corner like you get in, in even in earlier GTA games where, you know, they they make just a handful of businesses and then they just cover the world with them. In this thing, there's just such a variety that, oh, here's another little strip mall with all different businesses. Some fake insides look better than others. I think this one looks amazingly good. It doesn't really fall apart until you get up on the sidewalk. But if you're just driving by, it looks fine. Well, there's something else I wanted to... Uh... Are all the display windows just textures? Sometimes, most of the time, for the buildings you can't go into. But if you can go in there, then it's got a real interior. I think windows like this are a better bet. Like curtains. Curtains and blinds work a lot better than, you know, than this. Trying to show the inside of a store. Which doesn't totally work. Is it feasible to obey traffic laws in this? Assuming you had complete patience, absolutely yes. I mean, but actually driving at proper speeds, like this is real driving speed here. In fact, that's a little fast. Actually, the, the lack of side view and rear view mirrors and the fact that you can't, you don't have any peripheral vision does make it hard to like go around corners without getting into little fender benders and of course sometimes you just drive into oncoming traffic because you're not paying attention Seamus. need to point your camera better Oh yeah, I've been, you know what? I adjusted my camera here. Um, I adjusted this thing based on, oh, I'll sit up straight because yeah, this is how I play video game, is sitting up straight in my chair. And then of course, as soon as I get into the game, I slump forward and my shoulders hunch or I roll back in the chair and I'm out of frame. So yeah, I should, I should have adjusted the camera position based on my slouching position. Let's uh, nudge it. Now I'll probably lean back and lean out of the frame that way. Because I switch back and forth between the two. The mirrors in the first person view are all washed out and kind of blobby. Yeah. It's daytime again. One of the things I wanted to talk about was... Uh, was this interesting trick they do it's a lot like my pixel city demo if you get up on the freeway um at night it spawns headlights on far on far streets in the distance to make it look like there's traffic everywhere because of course if you've played this game you know that the game kind of cheats and it only spawns traffic like directly around you on the streets around you you can even see like that 
Let's see if we can catch it spawning stuff in. Do I have a sniper rifle? Yes, I do. Oh, I'm not going to shoot you. So if we looked up there on the hill, there weren't any cars until I looked up on the hill. And then it started spawning cars up there. And then when I stop, those cars will vanish and it won't make more. And the game's constantly pulling that trick of like, oh, look, the street was empty behind me because, hey, I wasn't looking that way. But now that I try and drive on the street, now it's gonna now it's gonna be constantly filled with cars. You didn't see my car. Is most of that car's surface a mirror? No, it's just a cheap environment map. Although it looks good, doesn't it? If Trevor gets out, you can see. Um, you don't see his reflection in the car. So yeah, literally unplayable. Um, so, and even, even the, we're looking at the reflection. It's a shame I don't have a white car. This would be easier to see. I don't know how visible this is on the stream, but we're, if you look at this reflection on the car, it's not even really the buildings that are around us. It's kind of the idea of the buildings around us. It's a much simplified version of the, the kind of town the area of town we're in so the reflection doesn't totally match with what we're seeing but of course you don't notice it steal one that would be illegal steal a car in this game what kind of game do you think this is Excuse me, I need to test environment maps. Oh, and that's illegal? That's illegal. Oh, I did it in front of a security guard. Uh, to be fair, I have the graphics settings on medium, so it's entirely possible that... Um, that we'd have better reflections and crisper reflections if not for my jank ass computer well my my terrible old graphics card all right this car is ours it's a little dirty You know what? That is actually worse for looking at the environment maps. Not just because it's dirty. It's because it's not... Yeah, it all gets all washed out. So, that was a waste of time. We made that guy walk for no reason. Oh well, he needed the exercise. What are your specs? I forget. Yeah, this game looks glorious on medium. My computer can barely one run Wolfenstein, which looks so boring and ordinary. And when I'm not streaming, I can hit 60 frames a second. And this is just, this game is a miracle. It is a miracle. How smoothly it runs, how much content there is, how good it all looks. Like, if we go over, if we go over here, look at this. Three different people, all of them with different body language and standing pose. Oh, there's two more. Also, different body la language. Like, the common thing to do, if you look at people in Saints Row, everybody has the same walk loop. Those two women over there, different walk loops. You'll see people that walk with, you know, they kind of strut with their head back. You'll see people that walk with their head down. You'll see people that look like they're angry, people that are distracted. In fact, let's go see a whole bunch of people. Believe it or not, I need a cab. I'm sending one out right now. Good work. <laughs> Skyrim, if you want someone, if you want everyone doing the same animation, yeah. And the same facial expression. 
Oh, so bad. Oh, hey! No, 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 no. This, this is my cab. Holy crap! It's just a possession. Oh, good tea. That's the ride, my man. All right, Vespucci Beach. Here we go. This is another place I absolutely love. Just breathtaking. I don't know what that art sculpture is. I assume it's based on something in the real world. I know that somebody probably spent days on it. And if they'd left it out of the game, I wouldn't have noticed. Although, if I can be a complete jackass, I will point out that is some nasty texture tiling on that. Like, that is a very repetitive pattern. Hi, Glimmer Gaze. So, like, this guy has this real relaxed lope, real slow walk. This guy is kind of like, you know, faster, hurried walk. This guy's carrying a donut. Like, how many hundreds of of little animations are there for these nobody characters, these nameless people? Does everyone have the same flea animation? I love when people's hats fly off. <laughs> I like when people, they have a hurried walk, like, oh, oh, hurry up before he sees me. Like, they're not in full tilt run, but they're kind of nervous walking away from you. Oh. stop to take a picture they don't really oh the police just show up and begin shooting into the crowd you're right invariable it's probably it's probably blended different it's probably a blend of several different loops put together in hundreds of combinations Oh, that guy just said, I'm so jealous of everyone that gets to look at me. I really makes me want to go back and punch him. Oh, oh! Oh, I don't have a car. There was a police car chasing an NPC. There are, if you follow those, it is a great show of just how janky the AI is. I followed a police car, went on a long drive chasing down a minivan. Finally, the minivan pulls over, the guys jump out, and get in a shootout with police. Both of the suspects are shot dead. And one of the police officers, this was out in the rural area, both of the police officers are shot dead. Or, one of the police officers is dead. The other, the remaining police officer, once he kills the final criminal, he goes, That's how we do things around here. And then he proudly strides over to the police car, gets in, and drives over his partner and leaves the scene. Another story. I was doing this um, outside of the hospital. I'd, I'd just gotten killed 
and I was wandering around outside the hospital just punching random people, you know, as you do. And um, I, I knocked somebody out, and some paramedics, four paramedics, come charging out of the hospital and begin administering first aid to one of the people I decked. And I think this is kind of unsporting. I wanted that guy decked. He should stay decked. So I punch one of the paramedics, and then all four paramedics gather around me and beat me to death. And, you know, I guess I kind of deserved that. Stop taking my picture. I'm shot. The police are driving down this sidewalk to get me. Like, look at this woman running or walking away from me nervously. Like, oh, oh, I'll just hurry away. He probably isn't going to punch me like he did the last hundred people. Oh, they're shooting at me. Come on. That is not a proportionate police response. I have not pulled a gun on anyone. This is only punching. Oh, I need to hit the guy with the hat. Oh, it's just so good to hit people with hats because the hats fly off. And that is super satisfying. Also, you get a speed boost when you hit punch and you're like five steps away from somebody. Um, Trevor will accelerate to faster than his normal run speed in order to close the distance. So you can use people to speed yourself up to get to the people with the hats, who are obviously the ones that need to be punched in the face. Eh, bandana really doesn't count as a hat, but that is definitely a hat. I will help you stop where Her hat didn't fall off. Oh, I feel robbed. It was a waste of a good uppercut. Don't screw with me. You're calling the police? You mean the police? This woman is like, I'm calling the police, and it's like the police are directly behind me in their cars. Oh, their hats are not flying off. I am getting very frustrated. Yes! Hat- no! Another non-hat flying off! Oh, well her glasses fell, flew off. That's something. Oh, we should probably leave since I'm at low health and the police are after me and everyone's always picking on me. It's so unfair. Well, I have four stars for just punching people? This fascist town. I thought this was America. Yeah, that's an armored van. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. I didn't punch any cops. I punched my way up to a four-star one in level, just punching nobodies. Oh, this isn't gonna go well for me. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. No, he escapes. Ugh. 
I don't really have an exit strategy here, I'm afraid. No! Alright, well, we're in a half-wrecked car with at least... We're driving on the rims with no escape plan. Keep driving straight until the police despawn. You know, the thing about that is... Oh, cornering is hard. Uh, they, they, it spawns more in front of you. Oh, come on. Let it go. Their faces will heal. That is armored vans. I have not seen those before. That's weird. An underground entrance nearby, yeah. That's true. Oh, give up. I get caught. I'm looking up at the buildings and not watching where I'm going. I'm not very good at running away in this game. Oh, there went another tire. There went two more tires. No, just one. Well, then why did I hear two pops? I don't know. I don't know, but that's probably a bad sign. It is true, they couldn't catch me when I was on foot. I wonder how long I could have just jogged. Okay, we're on three rims. Yeah, we're skating. Okay. This is probably going to go for- Oh! Alright. I'm gonna make a mistake. Let's make some mistakes. There's no escape. I think he's actually right. Yep, yeah, there it is. Um, no, they don't arrest you in this game. They they did in GTA 4. They would arrest you if you let them at lower um, wanted levels. But now, now, even one star, they just get out and start shooting at you. Krellen, I think that's exactly it. Trevor is the boss of the third streets. Actually, Trevor is a bit more disturbing. There's a really graphic torture scene, like where you do the torturing of somebody. And, you know, the game thinks it's being satirical or making social commentary. And it's not. It's just being stupid and childish. Ooh, look at how edgy I am. It's Mortal Kombat levels of edgy. Um... And Trevor is the one doing the torturing. So he's got a really nasty side to him. So, yeah, t Trevor, Trevor, when the player is playing him, is just this crazy murder beast. But during the story, he or during the story missions, he he does things that are not funny, that are disturbing. And I, I'm not a fan of that. Is the VOD going to be uploaded later? I don't know. Would anybody want to watch this? It's literally like I didn't do a single mission. All we did was dick around for an hour. In fact, I think I'm going to sign off. Um, so I don't know that anybody would want to watch this. I told Twitch to save the stream. 
I don't know if it will. I don't know if anybody will want to watch this. Um, if there's a demand for it, um, I'll post this to YouTube. But, like, really, it's it's an hour of dicking around a GTA V. If you own the game, you can do that yourself. Oh, Allie the Alien. All right, well, I'll upload it to YouTube. All right, all right. I've been convinced. Um, yeah, I need to go. I um, My tea is empty, and um, yeah, I need to go. But we can do this another time if everybody liked it. If you liked it, you know, uh, I don't know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. What the hell do you say? Like, I don't know. What is everybody asking you to like stuff for? I don't know. If, if you did like this, then let me know. Like, in the comments somewhere or something. Okay, last experiment. Can we kill ourselves by assaulting this? Oh, that's right. Don't forget to follow my channel. Don't forget to like and describe. And be sure to follow me on Chatter. You have to drive a car into it, but I want to physically assault it. All right, let's see if tear gas will do it. Let's see if sniper rifle. Oh. <laughs> tear gas is lethal in this game. Oh yeah, don't forget to support my Indiegogo fund or um No wait, that's not what I have. I've got the other thing. Oh This is something I find hilarious when you walk out of the hospital and there's no cars. Of course I already did it, but it doesn't spawn cars, just like I showed you earlier when we were looking at a sniper rifle. It doesn't spawn cars um until you're looking. He thinks he's going to fight me. <laughs> but he can't get up onto the car. <sighs> Alright, well, that was stupid. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. This was fun. 45 people showed. This was supposed to be, this was supposed to be a test to see how steam, how streaming worked. And 45 people showed up. Oh, there's only 44. Now it's not even worth it. Like, why do we even bother? It's only 44. Uh, so yeah. Add him on Tinder. Don't add me on Tinder. Don't add me on Tinder. My gosh. I don't know what I don't know what sort of things, but the only things I hear about Tinder are terrifying. Nickosaurus, I'm sorry you missed it. I will upload the VOD later because apparently people want that. I've streamed it before, but with Josh doing the streaming. So about 25. Yeah, I know the the camera. That's a known issue. It's being worked on. It's in the. It's. It's. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shame it's on Grinder. Oh, Grinder. Shame on you. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching my stream. See ya.